Welcome back to Valhalla. I have gotten wind of a couple of things, actually. There's apparently a secret drink we can give to two or three people to unlock certain events. I'm not sure what the event are, events are, but I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Um, I also learned the the New Game Plus. I guess you get to keep your all the stuff you bought, so it makes things a lot easier to uh, hit that um, whatever the final bill is. How are you feeling? Little or saw. Ah, oh, gross. Gross. No. <clears throat> yes, this. This is my expression. You heard me. So, on a scale from steaming pile of shit to sad, where are you? Mm, a sad pile of shit. Still hate myself. I'm still sad as hell, but how to put it? The noise has stopped. Oh, I also found. Well, you'll see this once we get to the first drink. I don't know if I explained myself. Sort of, kinda. So, how were things last night? Cozy, I must admit. I believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Uh -huh. I called Dorothy to tell her what happened to you, and she said she was really concerned. She started for a second before saying she had the whole night to go, and she couldn't just leave for free. I asked her how much, and she said, Enough to pay for the soda I'm having is <laughs> fine! She really likes her soda. How did you get her number? I have contacts. Ugh. Anyway, Jill. If you need a second, if you need a second break, a drink, or a hug, just let me know. You hear? Thanks. Make the same offer, but I'm giving hugs from me are the last thing you want. If you need a bartender? Let me know, though. Nice to know. Anyway, we have work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's nice to hear that again. Did you say something? Did I? <laughs> Welcome to the- oh, it's you guys. Ah! Dogs! Boss! Oh my god! He's got the solid eye. I forget what- Hey! Be more respectful! I brought my boss! <laughs> He's the boss. Uh, of course he is. Are you a part-timer here or something? My other boss! You're talking to the great Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. <laughs> okay. Boss, I'm taking my break! I know I said earlier, but you haven't even started yet. Shit. So that brings you here today. I want to see the place my best soldier is working at. Oh, I wanted to see what place my best soldier is working at. Soldier. Wait, aren't you the dog I served last Monday? Hmm. Oh, it's you, Dana. Soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Dana? No, that's not Dana. That's just Jay. Oh, I forgot the voice. So I'm guessing you're part of this whole Sira thing. Part of it. I founded it. Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Here, we can take in any dog without a place in the world. Oh my god. Some other base for dogs. Oh no, it's outer heaven for Earth. There for dogs. We created our own heaven on Earth. And do you take corgis only? Do I look like one of those cipher bitches? Of course not. Wait, I thought you were she. You, I thought you were a shy, not a corgi. Whatever. I include other animals, but sadly, I can take care of only those who are the same species as I. Sad thing is, I take it more seriously. But it's a talking corgi with an eye patch. Yeah, th th there's like almost no difference between corgi. Like it's the. No, there's no difference, aside from some wrinkles. Oh, whatever. Will you get anything? I'm fine. What about you, boss? Manly stuff. You sure? Do not stutter. Alright. <laughs> oh shit, I toast off! Alright. Manly shit. For manly man dog. Shouldn't it be, like, dogly? Oh, whatever. Um, whatever's the most expensive. I wish you could press the back button and like or like I wish when you went in to a drink from like by type if I pressed right this would be the pile driver because it's the next manly drink not just the next drink in order it's like sometimes I want to you know I just want to check what's the most expensive drink to give them because I'm a jerk and I got bills to pay let's go on Mars Blast oops I don't know what I meant to do so oh my gosh it works I'm a speedrunner now 
This is what it likes. It feels like to be a speedrunner. Beautiful. See, so yeah, it turns out if you just press the button fast, or if you just press um, the QWERTY keys, are uh, all you need to instantly deposit the drinks. Uh, thanks to. Oh crap. Uh, who was that? Um. I'm looking up the name of the person. Sky Eater! Thank you, Sky Eater. Here. Yes, it's just what I wanted. Blah, this tastes worse than my own butts! <sighs> hey, you asked for it. It's a really nice place, you know? Picked a good place to work at, soldier. Thanks! You really get paid? Your efforts to keep Sierra afloat will not go to waste. We'll make her better and better. I mean, we're pretty much on the verge of closing. Can boss really afford that? We have more urgent matters at hand, though. I like the fact we don't have enough balls for everyone. Can't they just share the ones they have? You fool! Every dog has a right to his own ball. If you can't provide even that, what's the point of even trying? Wait, don't tell me she just doesn't give a fuck and spending all of her money like water. How do you spend money like water? You don't spend water. Shut up, Jill. I mean, what, Parker? No, I don't think so. I mean, what with the bar closing and all that? But many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. Are you sure th those aren't cats? That's a good point. What do you think is cheaper, a box of balls or a box of boxes? There are boxes of boxes? Of course there are. How do you think they ship boxes? <laughs> Makes sense. Tied together. Together. Don't be silly. Unless she's paying straight for her pocket. Boss is that kind of woman. Literally what has this dog ever done for us? He chased away a customer once. That's like negative one unit of work. He's done negative one works. This world is filled with all so that sort of recursive madness, you know? Doctors consult doctors. Boxes come in boxes. Bottles come in bottles. Oh, as expected from me. I'm pretty sure... Um, you know, I, I want a bottle that comes in a bottle. Wait, that theory only works assuming she's actually paying with the money. For all I know, she might be paying with steaks. I'm pretty sure steaks cost money. Like a lot of money for, for dog food. Anyway. So tomorrow you're going to check for people selling boxes, you hear? Sir, yes, sir! Except that to boss, a good steak is more valuable than money. Wait, what if they come with foil? R what? Rusenstrauss had to be taken to the vet because he ate the foil a piece of cheese came in. Curses, you're right. We need a contingency plan. Besides, boss is not going to scam people, let alone a dog. I wonder if we can strike a deal with the vet those cypher bastards have. She's always so nice with us. I know, her smile... Ugh, I, can't, I keep forgetting the surfer dude voice. Um, I know, her, sur her smile is so cute, too. It's better that we get a... that we vet for a vet. Yes, put that on the list. Ah, Nacho. Oh yeah, forgot you knew that dog. Stand here for a while? That was just passing by. I've got some errands for you to run. Great, Bill can help you. I can? You will. So will get paid for today, right? That depends on Nacho's evaluation. All right, Greenhorn, let's get going. Sigh. Oh, I'm paying him anyways, by the way. I just wanted to mess around with him. No, that's not the problem here. <laughs> Why make him do that? He looked like he needed to take a good break. He's the kind... He's the kind to just not accept such a thing. But with Nacho, he'd have something to do. He'd be away from the bar for a little bit. Put it that way. Anyway, I'm going back to my office. Your boss sure is nice! I'm glad we're working with her, too. So, you having anything? Actually, I'm just gonna just go sit over here and be on standby. Await orders. Shit, I missed the chance to ask how or even if he gets paid with money. Betty. Man, I sure need to get wasted. Oh, it's these two. I fail to see how getting wasted will make you feel better. Shiba! For fuck's sake, you piece of scrap. We just got out of a building full of dogs. But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, robot. And he talks! <sighs> Welcome to Valhalla. Hey, Joe. Get me a beer, will you? 
Gotcha. Does the deal want anything? Okay, roll! Sir, yes, sir! So cute. He's fine. Just a beer, then. It's the beer. Friday after work isn't just a beer, though. It's the beer. The order was... I was say rabbit? I, I guess she wants a big beer. Like, is that what the is all about? Oh man, this is so much nicer. All mixed. Huh? Eh? Oh. Not quite enough flancher boops. Eh? Wrong line of keys. Right. Still gotta get used to doing this, I guess. There you go. Here's the beer. Yeah. Er, cheers. Hey, Jill, do you like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. You can, you can always, like, throw those away. I mean, that's what I do. Or recycle. If you want to be a commie. I had a friend back in high school who made some pretty nice crafts with them. I'm still in contact with him if you're interested. No, thanks. The last thing I need right, now, need right now is more crap taking up space. So, how are things up at Dogtown? Well, that Laura girl is storing things up, for better or worse. For worse? She's, um, like a rabbit. An overly politically correct rabbit. Rabbit. Never had a pet rabbit. They're a nervous mess that gets started all over the littlest of things. And this girl is on the constant lookout, scared of something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. There's no problem in the company. But the other day, we went out together, and holy shit! Poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. She's a nice girl, and it's sweet she tries so hard not to offend anyone. But seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help, either. I, 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 can't, I can't remember what voice to give Robo Fuckboy. Your nose freaks me out. I'm sorry. I, I am robo-racist against your nose. And this vest, look at this vest action. He's got like a freaking flak jacket on or something. Like, look at this. This is not fashionable. Get get out. You 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 come back when you're more fashionable, sir. When, when your neck isn't made out of weird plates. You randomly yell, what did you say? And whenever she's within earshot distance. What? You're such a bitch, Betty. Yeah, well, it's just that she looks so cute when she's startled. Oh, you suck. Like a rabbit. Raises the question of whether she's really like that, or you're just the one making her wary of what she says. Well, why don't we test that? You go out with her. Why? To test if she's really me? To test if it's really me who makes her like that. It's not like you can say no, you know. I mean, it's my honor that's on the line here. I want to prove you're the only one talking shit about me. Even if you were right, you have quite the fixation on that girl. She's fun. Fun how? She actually reacts when I tease her. You take it in your stride, but she actually gets startled, squirms, gets uncomfortable. You... You're one of the worst people that comes to my bar, you know that? Which is amazing, considering the trash that comes in here. Speaking of... Cute, and her reactions are cute. You keep that up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. Shit, you're right. I'll save my teasing for the moment that's just right then. No, that's not the problem. That is for me. What are you doing here? What about the dog? I said he had to go out. By the way, he said his name was... Say, this is Laura girl. Do you guys get along? I wouldn't know. We get along as well as co-workers, at least. What kind of girl is she, aside from the politically correct rabbit thing? Slow. She's the kind that does things so carefully. When she does them really, really slowly... I don't think rabbits are slow. Rabbits are very fast. Really, really slowly. We can't deny she's actually good when she finishes stuff. She does a great job, but it's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building, though. She's not like a freelancer. Why is she there, then? She likes dogs. That's why I insist you two would make a fine couple. Everything in this game revolves around dogs. It's secretly the whole plot, isn't it? Glitch City is just a haven for dogs. 
It's a really superficial statement. It's like saying you'll be fine without someone to... You'll be fine with someone because you're both women. Gah. Okay, bad example. May I say something? By all means. If that Laura girl really was as bland as you claim her to be, wouldn't you be better off with a more... more assertive person, Lilim? Or assertive partner? Yo, piece of scrap. She's totally calling you a pussy. She's right, though. <laughs> okay. No arguments here. Sharing interests and being compatible are totally different things. Oh, he, he didn't mean about that part. But then you'd be underestimating the power of love. Whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or worse. Who knows, maybe you'll become more assertive after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess that's a possibility, too. So, why are you so insistent on getting me and her together? Because she's like a cute rabbit, so I'm not trying to eat her out there. It'd be a lot easier to keep her on my side. So, in short, your motherly instincts arose because of Laura. Why don't you see if she likes you and you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? You make it sound like some, make sound like some skirt chaser. She's not into girls. How did you find out? I asked her directly. <laughs> Of course you did. She seemed like giddy afterwards, though. I heard you muttering something about meeting her first lesbian. That was weird. Okay, enough for a for That. Refrain from using that's what you said last night jokes or variations there. Please. Party pooper. Let's get a drink then. Sounds good. I'll have a bloom light. Bloom light and a fringe weaver. It's actually rabbit for later this time. So, balloon and light. One, two, three, four. One, two. Age rocks. It's so unnecessarily brown. Um. Finger. Wait, why do people have terrible taste in drinks? Shouldn't you fancy types? You know, order something that isn't pure garbage, because both of these are pure garbage. Oh, whatever. Oh, there I have it. That's, I always forget, that's the uterus drink. Here is your uterus, sir. Oh, it's called a bloom light. Seems like it was first developed in some video. <laughs> the creator said something about making the attendees feel like their customers. <laughs> said attendees were, of course, part of some big game company. Company already always used too much bloom lighting, so the bartender literally made them all drink the bloom. So it's not called that because it glows in the dark? Not this one, no. Come to think of it, did you ever change because of a relationship, Jill? Bad timing, bro! More ways than one, I guess. What'd you say for better or worse? Not a good time. I guess for the better. What? You're taking this very well, Jill. I guess for the better. I'm too thick headed to develop any new bad habits. Although thanks to my first boyfriend, I did pick up a very annoying habit of collecting, correcting people's grammar on the fly. Aw, oh, don't do that. Pretty annoying when I think back to it. So you are one of those kinds of people. As for me, I think it became more, uh, what's the word? Cynical, jaded, bitter, tired of the crap this world that everyone throws, everyone in it throws on a daily basis. Hey, I'm just quoting you. Sigh. But yeah, I think... I think I became all of that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. She got me into the whole activism thing in the first place. How's that bad? We'd all go on protest. We'd start making all kinds of movements to think we see things changed. I really got into the whole thing. But whenever I wanted to get more serious, I found myself coming up against a wall. The wall is an analogy of the fact that not everyone was willing to go that far. Okay, thank you for that corrective bit of information there. I found out pretty fast that most of them were in the whole deal because some shitty fad, like you, and not because they were actually <laughs> in whatever movement they were championing. I moved from group to group, finding people who were in it because of a fad. And when they were not in it because of a passing fad, they were the dangerous extremist kind. My tolerance for all people's shit was greatly diminished after all of that. <laughs> so it wasn't the relationship you had with the partner, but rather other people. Um. You seriously never thought about it that way? Aww. You need to stop putting the blame for what you do on past relationships. Whatever. Where's the other guy, by the way? 
had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. I know the one was here that asked you were the nice vet lady that works at the Cypher Toy Company. I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Why does a toy company have a vet? What? Oh well. I don't know. You have quite a few jobs on the side, haven't you? The pay from dogs isn't enough to keep up with the mounting debts. I don't know how you do it. It's hard to believe dogs pay you at all. This is government somebody who works that pays for a dog for doing fuck all. At least I think we're paying him. Not completely certain what we do. Do you get anything else? Well, we're fine. We have to get up early tomorrow. But we, I really mean her. She got invited to a picnic and I won't send another how to go to picnic with a hangover story. Fine. Let's go then. You can always, you know, get something on alcoholic, but whatever. I do have, I got bills to pay people. Man, you're such a party pooper. You'll be the party pooper if you, oh, it's this guy. You'll be the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. Boss, I'll take my break. Call me if somebody comes. Alright. Running out of safe slots here. There's apparently at least 17 days, so we we have a long way to go. I, I, I'm just gonna have. I should have. Hmm. I'm gonna race over the brakes, I guess. Like I'm gonna only keep the like the room, like that's the start of a new day. The room. So, huh? These are all gonna be right around 20 minutes, I guess. But yeah. Stay tuned next time for the lack of dogs. That's a good, that's a good motivation for the next video, right? <laughs>